We have tried to film an intro five times, and each time there's been an issue. Chlorophyll! <laughs> <laughs> More doing. like borophyll! Get, get, get your life together. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to it. Here. God, I cannot go anywhere with you. Ryan, we live in a small area. It's not my fault that you sat on me and are mad that my leg was there. It feels like a you problem. We're happy to be here. Take 47. Welcome. Hello. Having all the content on one SD card instead of six. Ryan said I look like a butcher today. No, I didn't. I said she looked very cute. But a butcher. <laughs> so, a, marriage. A, fashion. We call that fashion. It's something, that's for sure. You know fashion. Oh yeah, and fashion knows me. <laughs> so, we are so over it. Anyway, very packed video strap in it's our last big big crazy video like this like with a huge amount of footage compiled so just get cozy and just join us on this crazy adventure if you're new here my name's mary this is ryan we have our dog cisco we live full-time in our ram pro master van and um we're very happy to have you here so enjoy this long long video moving forward we're gonna be chopping up our videos a little bit more because right now it's been too hard because we have too much content over the like the course of like a week two to three weeks so we're gonna start doing more daily type vlogs to try to get one two videos out a week so it should be a lot easier and hopefully we're gonna can bring more content throughout the week instead of, you know, every two weeks. Right. We are happy to be here and we really, really hope that by the end of this, you are too. Thanks right. for joining us. Thank you. See you soon. So we are leaving this part of the Keys. I am going to start driving us towards Marathon. While we were driving from Key Largo to Key West, we noticed a lot of cool little spots that we wanted to stop. So now on the way back, we're going to hit some of those spots. So, okay, let's go. I'm just typing in marathon and that says it's about it's an hour so i'm just gonna go with that and go starting to marathon, starting route to marathon baby oh i gotta get us gas too Sorry to take your AC away. Fill it up, fill it I up. Gotta crack a door, man. It's hot. Alright, I pulled us off because I think we should go walk on that bridge. Yeah. It was really pretty. I had to stop. Sunglasses. I sure can. They're up. They're hanging. Which pair? Uh, either. The ones you got are perfect. There you go. Thank you. It's, it's kind of crazy. Along this, these lines right here, there is so many freaking lures. I guess people got uh, stuck, I, which I mean, I don't know, man. Like there's some on the top line too. I, I guess they're trying to cast it pretty far. Maybe the wind is, is catches it or something, but there is so many. I don't know if y'all can see them. But... Yeah, you would think like after like one mess up, someone would kind of figure it out, but there's a lot of them. Yeah. This is Summerland Key. That's the key that we're at right now. Yeah. Summerlin. Summerlin Key. Key. Thank you. Thanks so much. Yeah, it's some good stuff. Got good stuff, man. What'd we get? We actually got a lot of stuff. This is for the, the smoked fish dip. This place is awesome. Key's Fresh Seafood Market. If you're ever down here, it's all fresh. Come see Danny, man. He's awesome. Smoked fish dip. These are really good. We got some lemons. Also, we got some pesto. And what is that called? Pesto. 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 <laughs> tomato. Tomato. Pesto. <laughs> and then we got, uh, we got a lot of fish here. We got some red grouper. A lot of red grouper. I, I love that they put it in that because it keeps it nice and fresh. Yeah, Perfect for van lifers who don't have a lot of space. Yeah, pound and a half. So we're going to make some of that today. Fish tacos. Some fresh fish tacos. 
first we're gonna get into this smoked fish dip, which is gonna be amazing, I <laughs> Yeah, man, if you're ever down here, come check it out. It's awesome. Fish, mayonnaise, cream cheese, red and green peppers, red onion, liquid smoke, Worcestershire sauce, garlic, parsley, Tabasco sauce. Nope, perfect. I'm excited. Mmm, it smells really good. Straight from- It smells like something my mom would love. It's like chicken salad. It's kind of what it tastes like, chicken salad. It's got that smoky flavor. Mm -hmm. Just wash our cups. Have some gouda? Mm -hmm. Good, thank you. Mm. Cisco does, freaking drooling. My mom would love that. My dad would not love it. Not a big fish guy. He likes what he likes, Mr. James. Mr. James. He keeps it the same. You know what I'm saying? He don't go venturing out with food now. Makes a mean taco. Makes a mean yeah. taco, makes a mean breakfast, makes a mean, um. It does make a mean breakfast. Make a mean steak. It's, it's like the same 10 glorious things. Yeah, his chicken wings are actually better than any restaurant I've ever had. Actually. Onward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we must keep it on. We must coming. keep the train going. On the road again. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. And I can feel the sun on my skin. Beginning to thaw from within. Is that a campground? I see a bunch of regular cars. Oh, well, we can try to go down there. But here, Honda Key, this is where Kelsey told us to go. Yeah. Trapped. You're trapped. The big guy's got he's you trapped. trapped. But he's trapped with daddy. <laughs> we love daddy. If you want to come here, it is 4.50. I'll just take a picture. I'll put it right here. Ching! Here it is. Bling. Price admission. <laughs> Hi. It's just the two of us and the dog. Awesome. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Not yes. bad. Nine bucks. No, I can do. We can do nine bucks to come see something cool, man. It looked amazing from the road. Aren't you? Aren't you allowed to stay at national parks or ones? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Pro's doing it justice. come through there. No, baby. No, no, no. No, go back. Go back. There you go. See the views. <laughs> We just saw somebody go in there and now we want to, so we might do that. All right, <laughs> now that we've taken a million videos and a million pictures, we really want to get out there. I just put that up so that we can leave it open while we're out there so Cisco can still have this open and see us so he doesn't freak out. You can get it up. Is 
Does it? Does it? So the further you get out, the, 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 the softer the sand is. That makes me nervous. <laughs> I didn't like that. I don't think Cisco, Cisco is probably back in his spot. He went right back to the front seat when I went back. Yeah, he doesn't like to stay put on the bed, does he? Yeah. The minerals. I feel good. It feels nice. It's crazy like the earth, man. I know. It's cool. Like, there is so much we don't know. You know? <laughs> it's crazy. Ryan man. always be getting philosophical. It just makes you think, man. It like, does. Every little grain of sand I in know. the world. You know? Crazy. Yep. God. It's amazing. You know? Coming out of the water. <laughs> That's just the only thing. Rip that sensor out because that shit's going. It's locked, bro. Like, just lock. Just move it up all the way. Move it up all the way, real quick. Okay. Ripping that out. I'm ripping <laughs> it out. Yay, okay. That was so fun. Great trip. I loved it. We got a bag of potatoes over here that's yeah, shanking me. We need to cook them. tonight we are at curry hammock state park we are dumping our tank we both got fresh showers we feel good i had thought maybe we would open up the doors and try to cook but there's a ton of bugs outside so we're not going to do that we're going to cook our fish tacos in the comfort of the van right yes i already have like nine bugs. yeah i see you already. i didn't get bit up like that it's because you're sweeter i guess garlic and herb butter all right <laughs> Perfect. All right, that'll do it. We got some yummy sauces here. Ryan got some seasoning. We're about to throw it down. Not too bad. I slammed one. She <laughs> slammed her. <laughs> What's up, everyone? We uh, are actually at the laundromat right now. I'm going to go ahead and whip us up some tacos. So, as you can see, we love tacos. <laughs> Our charge, we're only at 39% right now, so we're trying to keep the car going so we can charge up the batteries for today. It's Taco Tuesday, Ron. It's you Taco notice, Tuesday. Did you notice that? A rainy Taco Tuesday. A rainy Taco Tuesday. <laughs> If you guys are living in an RV, van, whatever, definitely carry cash on you because I think like every other laundromat, we've needed cash or quarters. Some of them didn't need And we come in with a ton of quarters, it's just never enough. Mm -hmm. Like here, just $5 a load. So we had to walk way down the street just to get some, find an ATM to get some cash. $5 a load and I did three. All right, we are about to go see some turtles. Yeah, we are at the turtle hospital. Running late per use, so and it's a functioning hospital. We found out, so we're gonna see girls that what did you say will never be released, and some that will be. Yeah, some of them that are too injured actually just stay here. Most people think turtle shells are tough. Now they are, and they are not. They're very sensitive to the turtle. They have a lot of feeling in the exterior of their shells. When I turn it around, you see why. Their spine is located right up underneath that shell, so when that bulk pellet bounces through. Their spine is severed, resulting in flipper paralysis. Sometimes the lungs get paralyzed. Unfortunately, then the turtle will drown. What do you think is one of the major remedies for an injury of this type? Any guesses? 
I'll give you a hint, you may have some in your kitchen. Maybe you put some on a muffin or toast this morning for breakfast or even in a cup of tea. Honey. Honey is nature's most powerful anti-infectant. It's an antibacterial. It's a better healing agent than Neosporin. Yeah, could you imagine and see that pop up in front of you like he did? No. <laughs> adventure in Everglades airboat and it is pretty sweet man we're a hundred percent doing this tonight a little Valentine's Day sunset airboat ride and we want to do this to the alligator encounter we're booked baby so we're gonna go there now and just enjoy like what they offer general admission wise and I'm trying to figure out another place for us to be right now so that we stop running into the issue of it being 6 p.m. and us having nowhere to go yeah. It's a trending theme for us right now, and I'm not into it. <laughs> and that way we can enjoy our day and, dude, live it up. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. Oh. Who would have thought? On Valentine's Day. I know. We, well, we just went on there just to go see, and they offered it today. So I was like, that is so beautiful. Like, a little sunset. I, I'm ride. super excited. I'm pumped. This is all of our trash. I need to find a place to dump all that stuff, so. We need to probably just break down the box. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Like, we're really out here doing some stuff, huh? Yeah. Key West for the Super Bowl. Woo! Yeah, I think that's the day we went out. Went out on the catamaran. Yeah, that night when we went out on the catamaran, remember? The catamaran. catamaran. The catamaran. The catamaran, the catamaran when, for the Super Bowl. Laid out. And the keys. A, laid out on the front deck. Yeah. We made it. And first off, score. I got all that stuff that needs to go right in there. There is nothing I love to see more than that. 100% battery, 100% water. So we're gonna run the AC <laughs> unit because we have plenty of solar coming in. Yeah, we're getting lots of solar. Happy Valentine's. Do we have the waggle uh, on? Like waggle should be on. Just, Lay down. Just enjoy the cold. Lay down, buddy. Lay down. You just could, enjoy. You could put the bunkers. All right, buddy. Be a good boy, buddy. We'll come back and give you another treat. All right, it's you time. You have to say cool, buddy. Yeah, we try. We just. Have maybe one for him? Sure. Such a good dad. It's, this is why we can't. It's no such thing as moving quick in a van with a dog. Like, good luck. No. Happy Who's those cool YouTubers? Happy to be here or something like so. that? I think so. I think it's spelled funny too. It's like H A P P I E or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Apparently, they like to put onions in the fridge too. Yeah, freaking weirdos. Weirdos. And meat above their veggies. Gross. Yeah, dude. Sick. Cross contamination. <laughs> what were you thinking? <laughs> Dude, I feel like we're in like Louisiana. I know, that's feel like we're in Louisiana. I feel like we're about to go in the bayou. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Good. Good, how are you? Good. Um, we want to do the admission with the show and airboat, please. It's going to be $70. All right. Until we have the first show at 1 o'clock. Okay. And then after the 1 o'clock show, the boat is ready at 1.20. And then you'll have the feeding at 2 o'clock. Awesome. Okay. okay. Great. Hello? 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 Ryan, look at the baby turtles. They almost look cute, man. They're all swimming around now. Right? Dude, that's insane. The largest alligator ever caught back in Louisiana in the year 1890. That alligator was 19 feet 2 inches in length. Uh, the full bite force of an alligator this size, close to 3,000 pounds of pressure. 
and that is more than enough power to crack bones. Alligators have the second strongest bite out of any animal in the world. The only animal with a stronger bite than the American alligator is the Nile crocodile, so the same family. Just between the ears at the center of the alligator's head, right here where I'm pointing my finger, right under there, that's going to be where the alligator's brain is located. The alligator's brain is only around the same size as my thumbnail. With a brain that small, that does mean the alligator is an instinctual animal. You cannot train alligators. The bulldogging technique was used to tie the jaws of the alligator. Sometimes the natives, they would have to go out and hunt alligators alone. And they needed a way to tie the jaws for just one person. That is how they would do it. Yeah. <laughs> that is cool, Rod. Like a dinosaur, man. Put on Oh, it feels crazy. Look at him. He's beautiful. Their eyes are crazy. Do you see that? They're beautiful. They're beautiful. All right, you're in line two. It's the line in the middle right here. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I know. <laughs> Knocked out in a spot. <laughs> 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 Dude, it's crazy. No, no, no. I'm holding on tight, I promise. You know how many GoPros are out there? I'm sure a lot. I'm gonna hold it tight. I love my GoPro, but I can't find that it. That won't be me. That's encouraging. Yeah, that's awesome. We got our guy right up here. This is not. It's an alligator jumps on the boat when I'm driving. <laughs> I would be safe up here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming over with you. Yeah, I'm flying. 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 Yeah, I'm flying.
Ooh. One of the worst <laughs> things that you can ever do to a wild alligator is feed a wild alligator. I kind of thought we were going to be able to feed them. Cool though. Very cool. Yeah. I just wanted a handful of meat to throw at them. They'll eat as much as you offer. It's only because they don't. Yeah. Yeah, the big boy. <laughs> emu. It's an emu. That's what it is. I remember the commercial. If you know, you know. Emus, they can sprint 31 miles per hour. <laughs> the cold air to get out yeah. it feels nice and cool cold and i'm gonna do fish tacos but we didn't take them out of the freezer to thaw so i'm just gonna do regular regular little tacos oh, mm. the little mini cans make you not feel so bad about yourself at the everglades alligator farm cooking tacos in our van living 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 <laughs> Cool. Well, dumped quite a bit in there, but I think it'll be okay. This is normal for Ryan and myself. Usually, by the time he starts eating, the first of something, I'm finishing the first of something. He's still prepping his taco. I've got a bite left, two bites. All right, we're headed back in for our little sunset airboat ride. I'm super excited. It actually might be a little cool. Yeah, I put my hoodie and pants on just because I don't it's, want to get cold out here. It's definitely the perfect night. It is, it's so beautiful. For a sunset. Look, it's just such a nice night. It's gonna be a really pretty sunset tonight. Back out we go. Oh, we're, we're in the front now. Ryan, Ryan said he wanted to be in the front. So. Oh, As we leave the docks here, we're floating in about 20 inches of water. When we get out here running in these channels tonight, we're going to be running in 5 to 10 inches of water. And when you see us cut off out through the grass, we'll be running in 5 to 1 inch of water. Now this is all fresh water. Those are all spotted garfish right there, oh. that whole line of fish. This is all fresh water and there's about 2.7 million acres of this fresh water and it's all the fresh water area that makes up the Florida Everglades. So you know, we are in the... The wet road. Thanks, Ryan. Wild alligator on the left side. We've got a little time judging the sun, but... I don't want to cut it short. I'm going to go ahead and get us out there and then we can be out there as long as we need to be. Cool. All right. All right, folks, here we go. We're going to take off. <laughs>
That's hmm. cool, man. I'm laying up on the road to try to keep warm. <laughs> I know the sun might kind of mess it up. There we go. It's... As the sun in the superheated water, the sun, as soon as the sun cracks the horizon, it starts this evaporation process. And as that vapor goes up in the elevation, it solidifies and de creates these shuffle clouds. Those are actually rising. That's wow. the moisture rising. Once they gather up at a certain elevation and get heavy enough, up between 22 to 30,000, then they'll dump all the rain back out. And that's what keeps this fresh flow of water. Oh. That's what creates the evergreens. Uh -huh. Look at that. Wow. That was cool. See, they're all coming back. Oh, wow. Watch your head. And they will roost here tonight. As soon as the boat goes by, they're going to come back and roost. Collision. Hey, that was pretty slow. Let's say that's damn near perfect there, man. That was great. It's almost like you've done this before. Yeah. Three days of Coast Guard training, it all comes down to that park <laughs> job. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, I would like to really thank you guys for coming out, taking thank this you. boat ride with me tonight. Hope you all have a good Valentine's Day and safe travels. Okay, thank you. Thank Come you. on, That awesome. was awesome, man. Thank you are very you. welcome. Head sets back in there. I think they have a little more stuff for you oh, going on over there. So Y'all take watches. care. Watches they have all lit. Oh my gosh! How cute! So cute, thanks guys. That was awesome. Wow. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, it was so, so fun. Oh, empty. <laughs> What a cool experience. We have just showed up to our Harvest Host location. It's a winery. I'm just gonna make some fish tacos and hang out the rest of the night. Look at this freaking iguana. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna just hold this sucker up because Ryan and I are spotting an alligator out here left and freaking right. Well, I've never seen, there was another one. Never seen alligators in like real life. Oh, there's another one. And another one, another one, two more. And three, four. It's one thing seeing them behind a gate. To see them actually out here, wild. We pulled over because we're seeing so many of them and here we can like really see them. Yeah, we're gonna go check them out. It's too cool not to. Never fails to give me a good laugh, man. Ooh, this is good, just checking it out. Hi, buddy. You driving? You driving? Good morning. It is, what's today? Saturday, February 17th, 10, 12 a.m. I am catching up on RuPaul. Just made a coffee, gonna do some dishes. Ryan is inside right now getting his hair cut. So today the plan is, first off, we have made it to Naples, Florida. And last night was really, really cool for us. We um we just kind of were downtown, like in South Beach, like near all the avenues. I don't really know. Obviously I'm brand new here, but we have never seen money like that the houses and dude the people and the shops and um the cars the cars <laughs> were insane like ryan and i walked around we parked the van and we walked around for i don't know an hour just checking out all the cars and like the nightlife of naples and it was really cool so we went into the like a gallery and that was really cool i saw a really cute painting of otters that i loved i would have loved to buy it but um a little out of the budget but i would have hung it here adorned it on this wall very very cool but it was giving very much like when we were in tommy bahama i 
had walked by a lady in her Lily Pulitzer dress and her whole like family there looking exactly how you imagined. Ryan and I were looking like this, right? I walked by and I wasn't even in the way. I just always say excuse me or sorry anytime I'm passing somebody. It was actually quite comical. I walked by her and I said, oh, excuse me. And she said, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was like, dang, I know where I am. I know where I stand, you know? We do not belong here. But anyway, I'm gonna keep watching RuPaul. I'm gonna drink this coffee. I'm gonna get these dishes done. And we will see you soon. Oh, yeah. We just got to Marco Island and we got really lucky with our parking spot. This guy really helped us out and got us in at Turtle Parking. So now we're gonna take this boy on a walk because he's dying to get out. And then we're gonna go to the beach. Yep, it's a good day. It's seven, it's already 70 degrees and I think it's uh -huh. 1130. Yeah, it's so. sunny. I'm ready. Yeah. Alright, brother. Let's, let's get it. Ah, let's be late. Cooking breakfast. Ryan's cooking a late breakfast, early lunch. There's our buddy Kimberly out there. She's she's clean and she's amazing. She's out there keeping the earth well, man. But we are just chilling at a really cool place, just enjoying this like beautiful sunny day.
this is us. And then we've got right here our buddy Kelsey, who we've been spending like the last week with. We just love her. And then we've got Carl and Kimberly. Great making friends out here on the road, man. We just, we've just been really enjoying our time with everybody. Carl's rig is decked out, baby. Carl and Kelsey are working on Kelsey's van. How's it going? <laughs> getting things straight? Well, we're, uh, we're getting the parts that we need. Sure, sure. This is the one you'll disconnect. Oh, okay, yeah, I saw that in the picture. They're working on her water heater. Is that what you guys are working on? Water heater, look at me go. And I thought since everyone's just out here enjoying the sun chilling, that I would go through her crap. What did we find? Did we find some goodies? Oh McDonald's yeah. McDonald's bag, oh, fish yeah. and wine, beer Love cans. It. God bless Kimberly. Everybody leaving their trash. Yup. I'm gonna be good and clean this dang thing out. Dude, I can't get enough. This is my view. While I'm cleaning. Alright, let's do this thing. I've been sleeping with this. to do but we have three percent water so they will not be getting done here we just went to a little farmer's market yesterday and we got some big boy potatoes and ryan loves his tomatoes so we got some really good looking tomatoes and an onion this onion looked really good too so score these are gonna start going up top just like the shades okay oh. If you don't do the smell check, are you even married? Trash, 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 trash. I'm gonna keep this close because this is what we use <laughs> instead of a vacuum. This is awesome. The GoPro died on me, but this is pretty much, I tried to fold that, I'm not dealing with that today. But this is what I have over here. I'm gonna blow the bed off real quick, but other than that, I think, I think I'm done for today. And this bad boy gets a rightful place right there because we use it daily. All right, we're out here in Fort Myers. No, we're not Fort Myers. Myers. In St. Petersburg. That's right. I couldn't remember either. <laughs> we're out here in some cool spot. Yeah. What are you doing, buddy? You're in the rocks? All right, we ready for this? <laughs> Hi, Teddy. Good morning, Teddy. Good morning, Teddy. We love Kelsey's van. It's so open. It looks like we're the oh only ones. All right, we're about to be going out here. We do consider this a moderate paddle exercise wise. We are going up river the whole way, fighting the current until we decide to turn around and then we drift lazily back. Everything we see out here is real it's natural get you guys set up in the all right oh no oh that's a cool tree all the sunglasses all the sunglasses the divers yeah the, the divers do that them. i've lost three pairs here so <laughs> down right here <laughs> thank you Got a bunch of little fish hanging out right yay over there. oh it's so clear <gasps> so cool here comes dry guy Hey, 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 how clear, look how clear it is. You can like drink this water. I know. Check with my board, guys. Yay, sweet. Hi, Hi buddy. He's over here. Are you a rock and roll, man? You said it's called Rainbow Springs because you see the most colors on this spring. That's why they call it that. Cute. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I could see that this would be super bright if you if the sun was hitting it. stays nice and still you can see that the sand has this boiling effect and it looks like it's boiling and what that is is a very small spring this spring probably only puts out 
you know, a thousand or two thousand gallons of water every day. But it shows you that that water just pushes in all by itself and creates that little spring. Sun's out, you can see that vibrant green. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's so awesome. 10 out of 10. Where are you now? And how how warm is the water? It is 72 degrees Fahrenheit year round. How is that? Um, nature is amazing. <laughs> did you get some good footage down there? I did. All right. Did you get some up there? I think so. <laughs> Some good little Polaroids. Back home. Do I? We head, we heading straight there. Hi, little boy. Oh. Welcome. We're going to dinner, buddy. Talk about love. Come and talk to me. thank you so much for watching until the end as always we're happy to be here and we really hope that you are too see you next time bye